Aloha. Welcome to Terry's reading class. So, <laughs> or anybody else that wants to watch this, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I'm doing from the reader's perspective or the, my perspective, whatever. Here we, go. Here we are in beautiful downtown Kai. Well, not really downtown. Okay, take your leaf. Take off one leaf. Go like that. Get your thumbnail. Go like that. Two of them go around like that. Under, over, around, back, under, over, under that one, over that one, under that one, over that one, under that one. That is the fish. That's how long it takes to make one. A lot of people hang them by the mouth if they want to catch a fish. They hang them by the mouth. It's just one weed. Um, then you take your fingernails. If you don't have a knife on you, like now, and tear that into the fish tails. Anyway, any kind of fish you like, you can ask the kids, big tail, little tail, short tail, small tail, whatever. I hang them by one fin, I make one longer, so I can tie it to the stick. There's the stick, I do that. Tie it to the stick. Ta -dum, ta -dum. And there is the fish toy. They're really a lot of fun. They swim with. It's not a dead fish, a hanging fish when you hang them by the mouth. It's a living fish that you can use for a puppet and have fish stories with and all kinds of stuff like that. So the kids really like them and that's how long they take to make. Now if you take that same weave and do that again, this time you just go like that and like that, put that around like that and now let the first one go out. Oops, I must have missed that. Try that again. Take two, you make a fish, make it a little bit longer, there we go. This is going to make the windmill, which is a cute little wind thing, go like that, see my right there, okay, yeah, although yeah, I let this one go, there we go, now you let this one go, and you get the square, right, there's the square. You just let the first one that was hanging down go. Okay, now take the square. I'm going to put this a little bit closer on my lap. Maybe that'll work. How's this? How's this? Where's my hand? There we go. Okay, so now you got the square. That thing there. And now you fold that over like that. That over that one. Like folding up a cardboard box so it stays shut. That over that one, you take the last one, you go through the first one. Am I still in there? Oops. I got too low. I'm gonna keep them right here. Okay, start over. Like that. Fold that one, turn. Fold that one, turn. Fold that one, turn. Sorry if I dip too low. My natural hand position is a little lower in this. Maybe I should tilt the screen down. Okay, so now you get the locked square, right? Just one locked square. Okay, now you take, tear those off all the same length. You can just go like that, pick them up like that. Tear them all off at the same time. So now you get, now you, now you have this thing. Okay, that's it right there. Now you take one of those and go like that and tuck it in there. Take the next one and tuck it in there. Take the next one and tuck it in there. I'm sweating on the keyboard here. It's hot in here. I'm take my hat off. Anyway, so you get that one. And then the last one. I had to bite that end off. Goes in there. I have to fold it sometimes. You go in there. And so now you have basically, that, that one's in the wrong place. I want you to go over here. Anyway, however you do it, it's on the back side, wherever, you tuck them in, that's almost right. So now you have a little windmill, and you take your, take your stick, sharpen it if you have to, but I'm just going to force this one. No, I'm not. Ha! <laughs> you have to sharpen it with my knife. Okay. Just a second. I'll be right back. Oh, there's the chair again. <laughs> Be prepared if you do your videos, Terry. Here we go. First knife I, first knife I found. Woo. 
Rocky. Rock, grab my scissors too. Anyway. So here we are. Back to where we were. This is also how you make crosses too. You can make a cross this way. There's another way to make the cross for the religious holidays among us. But I can show you. Once you get these guys all tucked in there. This one's a little bit wider, so it's being a problem. So I'm just folding it to shove it through. There we go. Okay, now. They're all in there. So for that one, pop back out. And you get them all the same length so it spins balanced in a balanced way. And then you take your coconut stick and sharpen the puppy and use it for a pointy stabber right through the middle. And then, you see this leaf still hanging on the edge of the stick? You use that like a, a drill. You kind of go like that back and forth and make that hole nice and big. Because what you're going to do now is go down to the other end of this thing and strip off all every little scrap of leaf and actually scrape the bone down so it's kind of round right in this area. Sometimes it takes about that long. And then you take this out to there, and now it'll spin in the wind. And so you can go like that, tie a little knot back here. There we go, there's tying a knot there. So there's the completed spinny thing, or what do they call them? Um, I keep forgetting that. I just call them spinny things. That's that. Okay, enough for this one. Aloha, from County Kakai. This is the rest of the house. Real quick pan here, you can freeze frame it if you want to. That, that area still has yet to be cleaned up. There's one of the desks and one of the other computers and videos and whatever else, the kitchen. Okay, aloha.